today's video, I'm doing a massive lithium LifePo 4 battery upgrade to the bread truck. I'm gonna be doubling the lithium battery power in the bread truck with four of these 100 amp hour Uniwix lithium batteries. This is for the house batteries for the home, the tiny home portion of the bread truck. I only have two batteries right now and I'm doubling the power to four batteries. I already have one of them out of the box and it's this uh, Uniwix. It's a new Arp upstart company and they provided these batteries to me to do a review of on my channel. I already have this one out of the box and I'm gonna unbox all of them and set them out so you can see just what we're talking about here. They come packed very nice, surrounded by styrofoam on all sides. We'll pull this off. It comes with the terminals, that the lugs that go into the top of the batteries. So it comes with those. It's a very simple design. It's a sealed battery and, you know, pretty much weatherproof. They could get a little bit wet. This is totally sealed and you don't have to really worry about much with these batteries. They're kind of maintenance free with these. Typically you hook them up and you don't have to think about them very much at all. So I'll be testing these in the long run, but for now I'm going to do an installation video, get them hooked up, make sure they're all working as a like kind of intro video. So that's three of them. We got one more to go. The Uniwix batteries, like I said, it's an upstart company. So this is a battery that hasn't been tested very much. I'm one of the first people to get my hands on one of these and give it a try. I believe their price for these right now is $4.99. That may change over time, but the last time I checked, I believe they were $4.99. That's a pretty good price. For 100 amp hours, yeah, definitely. Do they come charged? Um, typically, lithium batteries don't come fully charged. There's a legality issue about having them charged. You don't want to send fully charged batteries in the mail. There's, they're usually at about 60% charge or something like that. And uh, so what I'm going to be doing with these four batteries, I'm excited to upgrade this because 200 amp hours is kind of minimal for my needs. Three days of cloudy weather and stuff, I start running low on power. So this is gonna be able to extend my life out to five or six days if I have rainy, cloudy days every day. And I'm not very able to charge the batteries. So I'm really excited about trying these out, upgrading my battery bank in the bread truck and using a lot of power. With this kind of power, you get, you're talking about being able to run a small AC for a short time, maybe not all night long uh, through the hot summer nights, but you could definitely cool the truck off with a small AC. You can run a lot of stuff. If, you, if I was to add maybe two more batteries, now you're talking about running all through the night, like a total of six batteries. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to get this thing going. What I'm gonna do, let me arrange these in the configuration that I'm going to have them in the bread truck. I'm building a box that is gonna go under my bed and they're gonna be arranged like this. And I'm gonna have them all in parallel. I'm gonna have the batteries arranged in this configuration right here. And I'm gonna build a wooden battery box that's gonna hold these in and I'm gonna bolt that into the truck so they can't slide around. And then I'm gonna have these all in parallel and have wires going between all of these with the solar controller coming in and hooked up to my entire system. So. I'm going to get started on that. I'm going to show you how I build the box and how I hook up the wires. And then I'm going to go in the bread truck and show you how I hook it up to my solar system. Yay, we love going in the bread truck. <laughs> We're going to be under the bed in the bowels of the bread truck. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a short time lapse of me building the battery box that's going to be going under the bed in the bread truck. All you need is a very simple little box so that these batteries can't move while you're traveling. The vibration from the road and all that, if they weren't held in, they would just slide around and you don't want the connections to get loose. And this just ensures that they're held in place and they're not gonna go anywhere. The great thing about lithium is that you have way, way more power per weight the weight of these batteries is extremely light in comparison to an AGM battery. It's amazing how light they are. 
four of these batteries I could lift up completely by myself. Let me tell you, that would be absolutely impossible with AGM batteries, so it's a huge weight savings. There it is. There's the battery box. That's going to be going under the bed in the bread truck. Got four Uniwix 100 amp hour batteries for a total of 400 amp hours. This is all you need just to keep it in place. I'll be screwing this down into the bread truck so that it can't move and it'll keep everything nice and sturdy in the truck. If I want a little added layer of protection, I could put a little eyelet here and a bungee cord to go over the top or a strap of some kind. But I've never had that in my truck in the past and I have not found that I even need it. So I'm not really worried about strapping them down. I'd have to hit a major bump to get this thing airborne and bounce these up out of place. So. That's it, it's very simple. I gotta wire them up tomorrow and I'll be putting them in the bread truck all said and done. So I'm excited to be finished with it. Hi everybody. Now we're inside the bread truck and we're going to be uh, putting the batteries into the battery bank underneath here. So um, okay. welcome to Paul Street. Yeah, this is, oh yeah, Paul Street. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right now I have two lithium batteries. I'm upgrading it to the four Uniwix 100 amp hour batteries. So what I gotta do is I gotta disconnect all of this. Man, there's a lot of dust down here. Oh yeah. And um, I gotta disconnect all of this and put in a bigger battery box to hold the new batteries. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut down my fuse breakers. There's one over here and one over here. Now everything is pretty much shut down and good to go. Oh, that's why it's like that. Okay. So one of the first things I got to do is disconnect this terminal and this terminal. Oh, okay. So that wasn't very tight at all. <laughs> Take that one off. Okay, I'm just going to disconnect all of this for now. You got to be very careful not to cross terminals. If I was to take a negative and put it over on the positive, that could be, that could be explosive. Maybe not explosive, but at least sparks. Okay, so that one's done. See if this one's tighter. Yeah, that one's not tight. That one, that one is tighter. So the idea is like, you definitely want to check these connections. I, I checked them a while back, but they do loosen up a little bit from the road and vibrations and stuff like that. So you just want to come in here and check these after, over time for sure. It smells like food in here. Some kind of food like Thanksgiving or something. <laughs> So the new batteries that I'm adding in here are a little bit bigger than these ones. So I built a whole new battery tray to come in here and uh, I'm just gonna replace this old battery tray. So you're taking that whole wooden tray out? Yep, I'm gonna take the whole wooden tray out. I've already built a new one and I'm gonna be putting that new one in here. So this is a problem where you get, so I have rubber coated handles. If you grab onto this post and go to loosen that and you make contact over here, you're grounding it between the positive and the negative. Mm. And ask me how I know. <laughs> uh, sparks will fly in that case. They absolutely will. It's like welding happens, you know, metal will melt. Um, this is a low voltage system. So it's not extremely dangerous to deal with, but you can still mess up and get into trouble. So you, you do have to be very careful when you're doing these, doing these things. Okay, we got one more post to disconnect, which is back here. Let me see if I can just, no, it's too tight. Oh, 
Okay, so now I can take all these terminals and set them aside and my batteries are totally disconnected. The entire system is completely offline now. Okay, there we go. And these batteries can lift out and set aside. Okay, excellent. One. And two. It does get dusty under here. Yeah, it looks like it's snowing up. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is take these uh, screws out that are holding in this battery tray, so. Goodness, I'm not having much luck with this right now. <laughs> Golly. The nice thing about solar systems is that you only have to do this once every freaking couple years or something. Was that your head? <laughs> yep. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I gotta get this screw. There we go. I think that's my last one. Well, it's attached to this post, isn't it? Oh yeah. Good call. That's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> I forgot about this post. One more. One more. Okay. That should be it. Hmm. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna take this one out. And I'll put the new one in. So now. Man, it is like snowing on film. Yeah, because of the light. On yeah. The thing. yeah. Oh, boy. It doesn't even look like that at all to the naked eye. Yeah, we really don't live this dirty, guys. It's just an illusion. Well, apparently we do. We just can't it's just see it. It's just a Hollywood illusion. It's our special effect. It kind of, it looks like the upside down world. Oh, yeah. It really does. Uh -huh. That's it cool. It kind of is, because we're under. Yeah. <laughs> we're in the downside up. We're the downside up. Bedside down. Okay. Just got to slide this in here a little bit further there. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. Oh, yeah. I appropriately sized all of these wires for the amount of power that is coming out of these and going into them. They had two gauge wires when I was hooked up to just two batteries. So what I did was I just made all the new connections out of two gauge wires, just like I had originally hooked up because I'm not doing anything you know, bigger. I'm not putting in more power. I'm not taking out more power. So two gauge is totally sufficient and there's no heat coming from any of these wires. Uh, everything is running nice and smooth and you know, there, you want to do this in your system. Um, I hooked them up in parallel. So I pretty much started here. I go from this negative over to this negative. I go over to this negative to this negative and then that negative goes into my bus bar and connects to the rest of my system up here on the wall. This one is a, um, it's going to a shunt that is a battery power management. It's a battery monitor so I can see how much power is coming out and how much power is going in. And then um, I did the same thing for the red. The red I started at the far, at this end and I went from that terminal to this terminal over to this terminal and to this terminal. 
Uh, and then that splits off to go to my bus bar, my inverter, all of the separate things um, that is being powered from this battery bank. The um, All the wire sizes, I made them exactly the same. They're all 13 inch so that they're all equal. I have the the power coming in and going out from this post and the negative going out and coming in from this post. So there's a full circle there. The charge and the uh, discharge is coming through all four batteries. Um, you don't want to have your negative on the same battery as you have your positive. So they're going full circle and going through all four batteries before coming out or power coming in. So it is hooked up appropriately. Wire sizes are good. Everything is hooked up just right and everything is working flawlessly. It was actually a very simple install and I'm super happy with it. We have everything done. The entire battery bank is fully installed. It is freaking awesome. Now we have 400 amp hours in the bread truck. All the cables are in, there's no heat. One way you can tell if you know your cable sizes are right, you should check for heat and nothing has gotten warm in the least. It is very, uh, it's, it's really well done. It's just, it's totally complete, installed. The system is charging right now. You may be able to hear the fan over there running. That's the solar charge controller, putting charge into the battery bank. Right now I'm at 13 point, um, I'm at 13.3 volts, which I believe is about, is that 13.3 over there? Can you see? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, right now I'm at 13.3 volts and according to the state of dis, uh, according to the state of charge chart that I have for these batteries, we're at about 90%. So we're almost full. It hasn't even been sunny. It's been partly cloudy. There's been a little bit of sun, but everything is working great. And I am super stoked. I'd like to thank Uniwix for sponsoring this video. Uh, they sent out these four batteries to do a review and a video about, and I am super excited about it. Like this is a huge power upgrade for this system. I went from 210 amp hours to 400 amp hours. So I nearly doubled my capacity. Everything else remained the same. 700 watts of solar on the roof and everything else just stayed exactly the same, but double the battery bank and it is working excellent. So with the 210 amp hours, it was kind of minimal. If I had three days of uh, cloudy weather, they would drain all the way to zero and my system would shut off. That should be a problem of the past with double the battery bank. I shouldn't have to worry about this shutting off anymore. So I don't use even that much power. I have a fridge running, some fans and some lights. So I'm gonna get up out of here. I just wanted to tell you guys everything is done, show you exactly what it looked like. Let me uh, show from this angle just a little bit what it looks like and here we go. This is the four batteries. They are hooked up in parallel. So we're still talking about a 12 volt system and everything is, it just worked out so well. Everything went just great, flawless. No problems whatsoever. The Uniwix batteries are doing their job. So I'm super stoked. Thank you so much Uniwix for sponsoring this video. We'll catch you guys soon. Bye from under the bed. <laughs> Bye, Ellie. Down, <laughs> Bye, subscribers. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>